New information in the search for the little boy who's been missing since he fell into the Whitewater River while his parents, while he was with his parents on a kayaking trip. Let's check in now with Jay Warren in the newsroom. Jay? Yes, Clyde. Earlier we said that the camera of the family was actually found last night. They announced that fact today, and they found something else on the river that may have been the boys. After three long days, search crews are tired, but they will nevertheless be out on the river Saturday looking for the remains of Mitchell O'Banion. Last night came one find. There was a camera located on the riverbank last night that has been uh, scrutinized. It did, in fact, belong to the family. And it shows the events of the day before the boy was lost. The photos were on the camera of, of Wednesday's outing of the family with everybody along the river and pictures of the river. Um, that camera has been returned to the family. Today also returned potential results. There was a, a possible article of clothing that possibly it was possible match to that of the little boy located on the river this afternoon, late this afternoon. Uh, it's, it's nothing, I, I don't think we can definitively say that it did in fact belong to the little boy. There's some close matches which, which would be downstream about 1.8 miles from the initial accident. These searchers, though tired, aren't going to give up. Our, our goal is to begin again Saturday morning at 7 o'clock here at New Trenton, again having established the incident command and be back on the river, get as many eyes out there, boats, uh, et cetera, as we can to, to you know, keep eyes on the river for the little boy. But often, the longer the search continues, the harder it is to maintain hope. We've done this before. It's, it's you know, you, you open up you know, your eyes each day, think, okay, this is going to be the day. Uh, we want that for the family, you know, as well as just to close this, close the investigation, you know, and close the recovery aspect. And again, as we said earlier, officials tell anyone who will be out on the river this weekend to keep their eyes open and to be vigilant to the possibility of seeing the boys' remains. And if that happens, do not touch anything and to call 911 as quickly as possible. Clyde.